Hello, and welcome back to Siege of Dragonspear. So, we are about to head out, but we have one last quest in this area. The Traitor. So, we need to figure out who has the candle, potion bottle, and page of runes. And apparently, all we have to do is ask around camp. So, let's do it. Yeah, Grab all everybody, right. and it's back around camp to ask people. Hello. Oh! Who goes there? Um, it's just me, Felix. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> a little drink yesterday evening turned into a lot of drinks early this morning. I'm, uh, I'm not in the best shape right now. Carry on, then. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so not that one. We're just basically doing a little circle background the way we went last time and seeing whether anyone has anything new. Uh, Wazab had something else he did, didn't he? Oh, wait, what's this? Hello. If that gnome says one more word to me, one word, it'll be the last one he ever utters again. We are few, but fierce. Hold there, I am Damius of Daggerford. My friend here is Sempek. Come, have a drink with us. Um, sounds good to me. So listen, you look like you've seen your share of violence, and you're still alive and in reasonably good shape by the looks of you. I'm guessing you're pretty good at the whole killing, uh, a whole killing of others thing. Am I right? Um... Why'd you ask? There is a gnome in our contingent. We're from Daggerford, named Gardnerson. You mean Glint? What's... No, his name's Pritchard. Pompous jackass. Thinks he's better than the rest of us. He thinks he's in command here. Well, second in command after General Stonehand. He needs to be taught a lesson. I'm thinking you might be the woman to do it. What do you say? Interesting? In murdering one who fights against Kalar? No, I'm quite definitely not interested. Bloody ills, Damius. Now you've done it. Let's get out of here quick before she tells anyone. Perhaps this group um, needs not quite as much help as I thought. So Pritchard Gardnerson, a relative of Glint's, might be somewhere in the camp. Okay. I guess we should probably bring Glint along to that one. That's alright. We can do that. Um. Hello, Marshal Nedalock. Good to see you. Um. Okay. I bring news, Marshal. I discovered evidence of a traitor in camp. I found these notes and traced them back to the spy. We the have spy, a spy among, us. among us. Do you know who? No. Well, get to it then. Well, thank thanks for your uh, great assistance, mate. Right. Uh, quick save because we've walked around the corner. That's where I'm at. Uh, down here. Yeah. Let's speak to these guys. See if they have anything. Didn't have a lot before. This and that to be done. No time to stay in chatter. Uh, well, thanks. I'm glad to hear it. There are ma many depending on you to solve the Kalar situation. I'll do what I can. You're far more than that. What's that supposed to mean? You're an adventurer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we've done that. The Fook? What are you looking at? Um. Just looking I don't around. Like being looked at in okay. Or specific. Can we Do speak to Torsen? Direction. Hello, Delancey. What are you still doing here? Make yourself useful. Go take care of the caverns neath Dragonspear. Hmm. I plan to, but before I do, I would know everything there is to know of about Kalar. Intelligence collection is a continuing effort. We know she is an Argent, and that her family was held in great esteem within the Order of the Aster. It took some digging, but we've learned Kalar was raised at one of the Aster's compounds. Hmm. The Order of the Aster? Holy warriors whose lives are pledged in service to Lathander, the Morning Lord. She no longer has any association with the Order. As far as we can determine, there was an incident of some sort. Kalar was little more than a child at the time, but her name was struck from the Order's records. And she was cast out. Do we know anything of this incident? Few seem to know what happened, and those who do are spread out across Faerun, beyond our reach in any practical sense. We believe it's significant that an uncle of hers, On Argent, vanishes from the official record around the same time Kalar was cast out. Unlike his niece, the Order holds On in the highest regard. Hmm, mystery pals upon mystery. Do you know what happened between her leaving the Order of Aster and her reappear reappearance? I suspect it involves her advisor, the so-called revered brother Heffernan. As you are already aware, 
We know little of him. Back to Kalar. Do you think I've nothing better to do? Bloody Baldur's Gate. Fine. Pay attention this time. Intelligence collection is a continuing effort. We know right, this she one. is an art. She no longer has any association with the order. Okay. As far as we can determine, there was an incident of some sort. Kalar so, was little more than a I'll child at the finish. time, but her name was struck from the order's records, and she was cast out. So she's no friend to her former order. Do you know how she came to develop the belief system she espouses now? I suspect it involves okay, her yeah, advisor. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The Thank you. Well, think nothing of it. It's not like I have a siege to run or anything. Now go. The sooner you get out of camp, the happier I'll be. Okay. Do a little quick save. Mm -hmm. I will. Um... Dosia? Hello. You have my greetings, faithful one. Um right. Let's leave. What? In a tick. That's fine. Maybe I need to speak to the generic soldiers, but maybe not. Oh, is that him? No, it's just refugee, but was pulsing for a little bit. Keep heading round here. Round here. Uh hello. What a bunch of pathetic babies! I've never seen a worse lot in my entire career! Is this piece of paper yours? Let me take a look. No, this isn't mine. Looks like it could be a page from the cipher book of Warden Two-Edged. Have you asked her? Uh, I'll do that, thank you. Right, so we know Good. where that person is. All it's right. down here. Hello. Did you need something, young one? Uh, can you tell me if this paper belongs to you? How... Where did you get this? Answer me. Hmm. Uh, why? What is it? That is from a code book used to translate military ciphers. You shouldn't be seeing it. Return it at once. Okay. Uh, I've helped several of the officers in camp. I've even trained vigilant Halasan's troops. You can trust me. Very well. I will believe you. Do not make me regret it. I loaned that book to one of Netherlock's lieutenants. A man named Malden Call. Hmm. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Tread carefully. We live in dangerous times. Trouble. Okay. Can I speak to her about the other thing? Did All you right. need something, young one? I've been talking to people around the camp, as you suggested. You haven't gone... Uh, haven't been gone long, though. Okay. Hurry. That's fine. So tick. now we need to find Call. Okay. We still haven't found... Oh, there he is. All right. I was going to say we still haven't found Lint's, um, like, relation. That's okay. We probably have to have Lint in the party, I'd imagine. Uh, so we can do that after this. Right. Get everybody together. Nero? I mean, I'll wait. Just in case it's a fight. She'll be here soon. Don't worry about it. No issue. There we are. Hello. The fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Uh, did you lose a page from the book, a code book you borrow, uh, borrowed, Call? So I've been found out, have I? Well, it's too late. I've sent many a precious tidbit of knowledge Kalar's way. The Shining Lady will triumph and leave you all in the dust. Hmm. You've really drunk the wine she's pouring, haven't you? My death is worth it if it serves the lady. I should inform Ned Locke about the traitor. Yeah? Well, I, I mean, will. if he's just going to stand there, we've done it. I guess. I could also kill him, I suppose, but I don't know. Detailed investigation. We did it. The other bits of the investigation, unnecessary. All we needed was book. Oh, there's Pritchard. Okay, cool. Uh, Ned Locke. Mm, perhaps this group needs not quite as much help as I thought. Um... Proudly emblazoned upon this banner is of Baldur is the Baldur's Gate coat of arms, mighty ship with blue skies above and darker waters below. Okay. Hello. Good to see you. Uh, I found the traitor. We have a spy among us. Do you know who? Malden Call. When I confronted him, he confessed to everything and was arrested. Malden Call. I knew him well. well. I thought I did. We have to tighten our security. No one can be trusted anymore, not even our own forces. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I can offer you the short bow as a reward. It's appreciated. Um, get out of here then. Dismissed. Ooh, a level up as well. 
Uh, we don't know what's up with this short bow. I'm going to chuck it to Nira in the hopes that she can tell us. No, we need to go get it identified, but it's definitely new and good. Wonderful. Let's level up. Uh, she uses axes. Um, wait, can we back out? No. Okay. Uh, she got extra spells as well, which is really nice. And a lore increase. She definitely uses axes. Did we give her a shield? That's the bit I can't remember. Yeah, I think we gave her a shield, right? I'm sure we gave her a shield. Done. Oh, and now we get to choose one extra spell. Okay. Neutralize poison is really good. What's a defensive harmony? Defensive bonus bestowing uh, enhanced coordination. Okay. Uh, this allows a group of creatures to act as a single unit for a battler encounter. I don't really know what that does, so I'm going to leave it. Cure serious wounds is also intriguing. Death ward is good if we run into a death spell. I really hope we're not going to, but there we go. Cause wounds, call woodland beings, or... Hmm. Cure serious wounds is fantastic, as is neutralized poison. Uh, I'm going to take cure serious wounds. Done. Okay, we have it. Mm -hmm. Right. And a um, tick. Now here, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna save, and then we want to take Jahira out of our party. Nature servant awaits. Uh, talk to Jahira. As you direct. Uh, do I need How to do it like this? Assistance? You have but to ask. No. Okay, what I guess I need tick? to go to Lin and then get him to yeah, and then kick it that way. Oh, I can press probably that one, right? Reform. Oh, let's select all. There's, there's, I'm sure there's a reform party, but anyway. Oh, wait, it's in here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, reform party. Anyway. Hey, Dylan. Hmm, yes, that should do it. What? Oh, I didn't see you there. Well, I did. Obviously, I did. I'm talking to you. I must have. But it took me a while. Sorry. What were we talking about? Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Um... You were doing most of the talking. I did want to ask if you'd be interested in joining my party, though. Yeah, cool. Jahira, you're out. For just now. Done. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. Uh, stay here and wait for me to return. Right. Uh, I, I hope she just literally stands there. Shut up. Oh, um. Not that it should matter, but we'll do, do this. In a tick. Hello, Pritchard. If we move now, we can take Kalar's people by surprise. You don't know that, and even if you did, it's not your decision to make. Just let it go, Pritchard. Like it or not, we aren't the ones who get to make the call. What call would that be, General Stonehand? Pritchard here thinks we should send a small force into Dragonspear to try and take out Kalar and end this mess before the real battle gets underway. Pritchard! Cousin, it's me, Glint. Glint? What are you doing here? Glint, I'll let, I'll let you explain. Mom's been worried about the family. She sent me out to make sure everything's all right. Is it? Are you all right? I dare say I am. I'm a high-ranking member of the Daggerford Militia. We're sent here to deal with that confounded Kalar. How's that going for you? It'd be a damn sight better if the camp commanders had either a modicum of courage or a hint of intelligence. We can end this siege inside of a day were we to move boldly and strike with precision. I'm, uh, sure you could. Excuse us, cousin. I need to talk to my friend in private a moment. Okay. Um. Over here, maybe? There's I need to speak with you about go. my cousin. Of course, Tlin. I was wondering if you could perhaps beat him to within an inch of his life. Um, why in Toril would you want me to do that? You may not have noticed this, but Pritchard, well, he can be a bit of a handful. He's difficult enough under normal circumstances. Give him any kind of power and, well, it goes straight to his head. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If he stays in this camp, I guarantee you he's going to rub someone the wrong way. Probably several someones. They're going to kill him. Kill him repeatedly if history's anything to judge by. Uh, sounds like there's a story there, but we'll save it for another day. You want me to beat your cousin into a bloody pulp? Um, you know what? So you want me to nearly kill him to convince him to leave the camp? Exactly. It's a little extreme, isn't it? You don't know Pritchard the way I do. 
there's only one way to get any message through that thick skull of his. Words alone just won't do it. Very well, I'll do this for you. Thank you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. All right. Trouble. Wait, I save. Will. Over here. Hello. We've been discussing important strategic matters. What do you want? Um, Belagram wanted me to find you. He's got a gnomish item he thinks you'll find very interesting. Oh, right. We can push him towards somebody who's going to kill him. Um, wait, you, you know what? Let's do this one. I thought you should know. I heard a couple of your fellow militiamen, Sempek and Damius, plot against you. What? Those ungrateful swine. I'll have them drawn and quartered. The hells you will. I'll deal with this. And you, stop making mischief. You hear me? We've got enough problems here without you making more of them. But you did good bringing this to my attention. And now I've got someone I can hit in good conscience. Here, take this as thanks. Uh, was it a potion of magical protection? General Stoneheart has intervened. Did we finish it? Wait, that wasn't what I meant to do. Uh, you can oh, Hello. Um, well, look who we have here. Bl you know what? He's had us twiddling our thumbs for a week, as you say. I'll leave you to your business. Let's then. reload. Yeah. Watch. That wasn't back. quite what I aimed to do. In a tick. Can I ask if somebody else will beat him up? Like if I send him over here? I have many fine wares. Uh, can I ask you something? Is this your first major military campaign? You do realize I'm the busiest person in this camp, don't you? I have no time for idle chatter. Um, Warden Two Edge believes I should learn more of those who fight the Shining Lady. I'll not take much of your time, I promise. Fine, fine. Since you're an elf, I suppose I can give you a few seconds. Uh, what do you want to know? Quickly. You said you were the busiest person in the camp? You doubt it? Troops need weapons, need food, fresh water, clothes, warm books, blankets, and bedrolls. This expedition wouldn't have made it a mile outside Baldur's Gate without me. Hmm, is this the biggest battle you've ever supplied? Hmm, ah, uh, by far, the organization it, it takes to keep this operation running is staggering. I can't imagine how they managed it during the last Dragon Spears War. Hmm, what made you join the coalition? I've s supplied small flaming fist engagements before, and I'm proud sits in the Baldur's Gate. When they requested I come along, I agreed readily enough. Oh, okay. Um, as did I. Many thanks for answering my questions. Eh, it's nice to talk about something other than how many bed bugs per roll is considered acceptable. If I had time, I'd tell you about the last Dragon Spear War. Fiends spewing forth from the castle, water deep city guard and flaming fist fighting sold, uh, shoulder to shoulder. Ah, uh, then a second time the devils poured out, rampaging all the way to Daggerford. Ah, uh, I'm a bit of a history buff. Maybe I'll get, uh, maybe I'll get to help make some on this venture. Uh, now I have to get back to work. Luck to you. All right. An army marches on uh, its stomach. I can return to the warden now, apparently. Uh, I don't really need that. I just need to be able to identify the thing I gave to... Uh, oh, I gave it to Nira. Never mind. I thought I gave it to Jahira for a second. Flesh Ripper. Okay. What is it? Despite the shortbow's intimidating name, it carries no gruesome history. Kitsana, an elven ranger, designed this bow for her own use and could fire it with astonishing rapidity. Uh, one night at camp, Kitsana's party each took turns uh, took a turn trying to master the unusually thin bowstring and uniquely curved grip of the weapon. None shot as poorly as the fighter, a braggard named Tyrrell, who not only missed his target by a foot, um, but who snapped the bowstring down the length of his forearm and tore off a strip of skin. Kitsana and her party faded into obscurity decades ago, but her bow still circulates. 5% chance of per hit of hasting the wielder for four rounds. Wow. And two movement speed. That's really good. Okay. Um, you use a longbow, don't you? Yeah, I think I also use a longbow. That's correct. Uh, Safana? That's a short bow. But is it, is two thack better, two thack plus two damage better than the haste effect? That's the question. No, because this also does it and gives movement speed. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, speed factor four. 
Speed factor, f yeah, okay. It, it's like a straight upgrade for Safana. In fact, it's almost definitely designed for her. Protector of the Dryads is fine. Uh, we will chuck that back over here and chuck it in our bag, but yeah, okay. This is so much better mm -hmm. than right, a Right, back tick. along here. Quick save. In this way. Uh, hello. We've been discussing important strategic matters. What do you want? Uh, Quartermaster Belagarn wants me to find you. He's got a gnomish item he thinks you'll find very interesting. Oh, did he now? Intriguing. General Stonehand, if you'd excuse me. Gladly. Take as much time as you need. Take more than that, even. The whole night, if you uh, have to. I could use some peace. So, is he going to walk around here, or...? Hello? Uh, right. So, now what do we do? Oh, he's going to follow us, I see. So, we can drag him over to a corner and then beat him up. It's so like this corner over here. I see. Hello? Bellix, what is the item? I'm going to quick save. Do we just attack him? Uh, what are you doing? Help! Somebody help me! Mercy! Please! Show mercy! I beg you! That's enough. Glint? Cousin? What's going on? I don't understand. I'm sorry, Pritchard. You've got to leave the camp. Go back to Daggerford. But why? Hmm. Glint fears for your life, Pritchard. There are people here who mean to harm you, even worse than you are now. As hard as it might be to believe, we did this out of love. Mum would never forgive me if I let you die, Pritchard. You've got to get out of here. This was going to be my chance. I was going to prove myself. You're a good man, Pritchard. Don't become a good dead man. Oh, all right. I'll go. Here, take this dagger. It was father's. He used it during the last two Dragon Spear Wars. It's only fitting a gardener's son's son fighting this one wield it now. Goodbye, cousin. Farewell. Ah, that's a wonderful sentiment, Pritchard. I mean, I'm a cleric, so I won't be able to actually wield it in the strictest sense of the word, <laughs> but I'll carry it. As a gardener's son's son, proudly, I'll carry it. You don't like it. No, 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 I do like it. I love it. I'll treasure it always. You just won't ever use it. Fine, that's all right. You're a cleric. I understand. I get it. I'll be going now. Luck, uh, luck to you in, you know, all of this. Farewell. Well, this I isn't feel working. quite bad now. We need to do better. What? Oh, all right. Well, I'm sorry. Need to do better. There's the dagger. Don't know what it is, but we have a dagger now. You called? Lynn, I'm afraid do it's it. time for you to leave. In a tick. The soldiers he angered should be told what happened to him. Take okay. care. You're making bad decisions. I don't know where Jahira did it. I'm making bad decisions? Oh. Okay. Oh, was that because I did an evil thing? Or a bad thing for a rep? Oh, maybe. Oh. Wait, that was bad for a rep? I'm going to reload it. All right. Right. I'm going to reload it. Okay. Head over here. Wait, did it bring him to Belagarm? And then speak to Belagarm? I have many fine wares. No? Okay. Wait, do we need to go back earlier? Do I have to beat him up now that I, I did the Belagarm line? Wait, where is he? He's disappeared out of... Ex he's, oh, he's standing here. Hmm. Hello. Yeah, um. Yeah, okay. Do I have a previous load? Yeah. This one? Yeah, this one? In a tick. Is he following us right now? He is not following us. Okay, cool. Um, let's go check that we finished the Belagarm conversation. We can skip through it, but I just want to make sure we've done it. I have it. many fine wares. 
Yeah, uh, cool. Did we look at Flesh Ripper? You want me? We did. Cool. Right, back Whatever over here. You like. Yeah? In a tick. Hey, everyone over here. Does this have a hotkey? No. Okay. That's fine. Uh, quick save? Let's carry doing the let's carry this on not doing it the evil way. Right. Oh no, he is following us. Uh this one? No, it's this one now. I quick saved again. There we go. Now he's not following us, right? Hello. I will. We've been discussing Perfect. important strategic matters. What do you want? People are plotting against the you. The hells you will. I'll deal with this. And you, stop making mischief. You hear me? We've got enough problems okay. here without you making more of them. So now but we've you done did that. bringing this to my attention. And now I've got someone yeah. I can hit so, a good conscience. Here, take this as thanks. Can we deal with it this way? Well, look who we have here. The hero of Baldur's Gate deigns to walk among us. Aren't you supposed to be spelunking in Kalor's caverns? Mm-hmm. I was, I am, but before I go, tell me, what's your impression of Torsen, Delancey, and Marshal Nederlock? Nederlock's good people. Won't say a word against him. Delancey? Oh, that's another story. Hmm. Tell me a tale, General Stonehand. He's a coward. I hate to say it, but there it is. We could have... We should have taken Dragonspear when we first arrived. Red Blood and Kaler was out in the High Moor then doing gods know what. The castle would have fallen faster than a house of cards. Hmm. He prevented you from taking the castle? Well, he's had us twiddling our thumbs for weeks. First, he wants to thoroughly reconnoitre the castle. Then, wait for further troops. Then, the hero of Baldur's Gate has to be here before we can do anything. Now, he wants to hold till you finish your business in the caverns. Hmm. The risk averse make poor leaders. It's always easier to do nothing than something. As you say, I'll leave you to your business then. Watch your back. You got anything else? Well, look who we have this one. here. Now that you mention it, I do have a bug in my boot about something. I've heard rumours of a thieves' guild forming in camp. Small at the moment. I'd like to make it smaller still. What makes you think a guild is forming? You always get some leeches in camps, but this one's had more than its share. Some of my men say they've been asked to steal from dead soldiers and pawn their scavengings through a black market. I won't have that sort of business going on here. The guild will pressure the soldiers to do what they ask and make an example of those who won't. Not an uncommon practice. You're new here, so the guild probably hasn't gotten to you yet. You may be a black-hearted villain, but people see you're here to help. Can you take care of this? How shall I track these thieves down? Start with a merchant named Wizob. I've heard she'd sell the coppers right off your granny's dead eyes. Hmm. Okay, and you're certain this is happening? A thieves' skull is being formed? You always get some leeches oh, no. in camps, but We've looped. We've looped. New... Start with a merchant All right, I'll return Wizob. when I've learned more of the guild. Well, don't go announcing your mission to the whole camp. Keep it under your hood, eh? Now, get moving. Okay. Yeah? Right. In a Let's follow down here. Deliberately not quick saving. It's, it's really hurting me because my finger is right next to the save button right now. Where is... Just kind of doing some um, quick surveying with uh, Mkin. I want to know where... Um, where this other person has gone. Oh, wait, what's this? Ooh. Hey, a dagger. Or a short sword. We'll take it. Right, um, round here. Did they go into the corner? No. Okay. So where did this gnome go? Maybe it's something that will come back later? Like we have to leave and come back to see it? There's not an awful lot of that in this game, but maybe. Nothing in here. Okay. So, wait, did that storyline just end, or what? Uh, Where is it? So, Wounded Zealot, Den, Den of Thieves. Yeah, okay, what's on the fence? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we knew that. 
Blackthorn, Battles Past. Yeah, okay. Den of Thieves, Anniversary Gift. Which one was it? Problem with Pritchard. She intervened. Oh, okay, and then that ended it. Oh. Oh, okay, but that now means we have the Lint storyline is uncompleted. Hmm. Okay, so we want to load the Lint one. I do apologize for doing the reloading. So I actually want to load Quick Save 4 over here and beat him up. There we go. This will be a wild ride! Mercy, please. That's enough. Lint? Right. I'm sorry, Pritchard. You've got to leave uh, the Lint fears oh, for your life. Never, you're a oh. Ah, that no, 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 no. I do like it. Right. I love it. Seriously? I'm I always. Seriously. We're yeah, making now, some now, seriously now we're bad calls. Lint! You can't judge me for doing the bad thing when you told me to do the bad thing. Right. This isn't working. We need to do better. Hello. Well, look you. Right, so we'll go through here. Good. He's a coward. Yeah, He's yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Hello. Now that you mentioned you are the gift. Right. Uh, how should I track them down? Name. You are right. Cool. Well, don't go See ya. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. Camp. So now we're, your hood, eh? we're where we were before. No, get moving. Okay. So now I should tell the people over here about him. But can I even tell them about him? Because I got rid of the people around here. Right? Maybe I need to leave and reach and come back in for that one. Maybe I bugged both quests. It's possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Select what all. In a tick. Just looking at it from a top level view here. Yeah, so I don't think these soldiers are anywhere. If they were, they'd be in this corner, I guess. Yeah, I don't think the soldiers are anywhere. Oh, uh, grab that. Send her around. Perfect. Little grab. We'll head back. Right. Sort ourselves out. Belagarm, hello. I have many fine wares. Yes, uh, I wish to identify two things. The short sword. Uh, okay. It's just a sword. Dagger. Pritchard's family stiletto. Okay. Let's have a look. This thin, nasty looking blade is wielded by the gnomish Gardner Sunson family in two Dragon Spear Wars. Though delicate in appearance and obviously designed for smaller than human hand, the weapon is extraordinarily effective when turned against ogres, giants, ettins, and other similarly uh, sized creatures. So you get uh, armor class plus two against giant humanoids. Plus to Thack, plus four against giant humanoids. Plus four again. Okay. Not usable by clerics of any type. Alright. Uh, so that's probably for whoever we have who knows about, like, whoever we have who has a combat proficiency in dagger. Uh, which isn't you. Uh, you also don't have one. You definitely don't have one. Although you have no proficiency in anything, to be fair. Um, alright, well that is an item for us, weirdly, uh, which is very bad unless we, um, are facing a giant humanoid and we have to be in melee range. Cool. And the other ones we can sell. Uh, yeah, we can sell both the long sword and the short sword. An army marches oh. on its stomach. Uh, I want to sell you this and that. Let me just check if I have anything else obvious to sell that's just sitting out here right now. Warhammer plus one can be sold. Uh, staff spear, we could probably sell it, but I'll keep it for just now. Yep, pearl necklace, definitely sell that. When the sunstone gem, ah, I forgot to check. Have we got anything in our gem bag? Or, uh, nothing in that one. Nothing in that one that we can sell. Um, yeah, cool. So we're fine there. Wonderful. Do it. Right. In a tick. Uh, time to get the lint out of our party. We're finished with Glint. Um, yeah, so around here. All the way around here. All the way around here. And Jahira, hello. Nature servant awaits. Uh, join me. When you see you, you meet us, yes? Do not be so insecure, my husband. Of course she wants us both to join. Isn't that right? Um... Uh, if I'd want you both, I'd have said it much. You're the one I want with me, Jahira. We do not always get what we want, almighty one. 
I'll not be separated from my beloved. Not ever again. Should you change your mind, you know where to find me. Where to find us? Farewell, Felix. <sighs> Did it just, like... Alright, well... That's incredible. I, I don't think you realize quite how annoying you are to hear. Do we even have a save? Can I go back to before we got Glint in our party? Let's do a hard save so we don't replace our quick slave, uh, save slot. The, the, the save I have is before we started the thing. Okay, of course. Of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, back to this one. So, we can't get Jahira in our party. <sighs> Which means that my Jahira or Safana problem has... Uh, Jahira or uh, Imkin problem has been solved. However, this now means that I would have to replace Emkin. Does Emkin have any reason why we would not want to replace her? I mean, obviously she has the goblin hide armor. I guess she's out of the party for Jahira, which is not the way I wanted it to go. Hmm. Alright, well, I mean, what can we do about it? Uh, let's send the bag of holding over, fill her up, and uh, let's do it. Otherwise, we have to use Glint as our tank. Um, which we don't want to do right now. I just realized I'm doing this wrong. You know what? I'm just going to reload the save. Uh, the the paired people in your party is by far the most annoying mechanic in the game. I have to say, it's um, it's incredibly annoying, uh, because it means you have to have these weird party combinations that you don't like. But that's all right. I mean, half of this stuff we can't even like, um, you can't even use. So it's fine. We'll do this. Right. So now we want to get rid of both of these people. Fine. So we're going to have Khalid and Jahira as our tank uh, couple at the front. Yes? Well, what do you need from me? Join me. Uh, yeah, you must join me too, Jahira. All right. Right. Join. Remove. Remove. Done. A team like this yeah. can't be beat. You want me to go? Um. Yeah, I'll come back for you. Lint. You want to come talk to me? You want me to leave? Seriously? We uh, were return for you later. Cool. Can yes. I okay. I was worried there for a second. To be part of such a group. I saw are him not you? leveling up. Sure. I mean, are you re Nature really sure? Awaits. I have All to have right, Jahira in the first slot. I'm sorry. I have yet. to. <laughs> GG is annoying, but uh, Khalid, I think, is more annoying. Biography. It leaves the details of how he met Jahira unclear, but you know he and his wife both belong to a secretive order no known as the Harpers. Their appearance at Bridgeford, uh, just as the crusade arrived, might not have been a coincidence, but Khalid anxiously denies the Harpers sent him to stop the crusade. Alright, let's see see what he's got going on uh, in terms of weaponry. Currently uses uh, Verscona. Blades of this type were long used by Sharon priests during the sacrificial rites of the Feast of the Moon ceremonies. Legends say that, when she passed on, the remains of the sword's wielder were mummified and the blade was placed within her chest as a symbol of power. In the first stage of a long-forgotten ritual, she was to be exhumed in a season, born again in some new form. Unfortunately, the uh, cult wars killed the few who knew of her existence. Her tomb became a prison where she was forgotten, and there she developed a rage that bordered on insanity. Her grave was eventually found, but it was deserted and gave no indication of her whereabouts. Some ventured to say that her anger was so concentrated she became one of the blade, uh, of the very blade of her weapon. Regardless, after uh, hundreds of years surrounded by constant hate, the sword uh, harvested a power of its own and now is exceedingly deadly in combat. 1d8 plus 2 plus 1 cold. Okay, so 1d8 plus 3. And I'm just checking. 1d8 plus 2. Uh, 2d4 plus 3, which is better than 1d8 plus 3. Um, because it's got a better stat line, although it's got one... Uh, its stack is different. Then this one, critical chance, 1d10 plus 2, but it is a katana. Uh, we only care about the ones that are short swords, I think. Or not short swords, long swords. Yeah. We have a look here. Yeah. Uh, what's he proficient at? 
Longsword. Okay, axe and longbow. Okay. Um, so what I'm thinking here is that we could potentially give him this one, Spellbreaker. Because it is a longsword and it dispels magic on a crit, which is nice. Um, and it's good against wizard slayers, but we give him that as like a secondary weapon. Okay. Uh, so he comes with a helmet. He also comes with the history of the north and the history of Shadowdale. Wait a second. No, I know where these came from. These are the items I had him equipped with when we actually had him in the party. <laughs> like a really long time ago. Okay, um, well, I'm going to level you up now. We know what we want from you. So I get two proficiency slots. Uh, okay. We, I think we just go further. We either go into Sword and Shield. Uh, what do you get for an extra slot? Minus four uh, bonus to AC. Bonus AC against missiles, which is very nice. Or we go into um, Longsword. Plus three to hit, plus three to damage. Okay. With an extra half attack per round with the selected weapon. Um, so we wanted to put at least one point in here. So he gets the extra half attack per round. Uh, and then we want to do the point in uh, Sword and Shield style, so he gets the AC defense. Nice. Okay. Um, done. And then he also gets all of his other benefits for leveling up. Which is good. Oh, you can actually see other things here as well. Nice. Done. So, um, he got his max XP bonus. He is now up to, uh, yeah. So his next level is in a long time, because that's the time between because he's gone um, up to a set amount of experience that you can get, and that's based on our experience level. Uh, so it, he just moved into the next band. Okay. So, uh, what do we want to give him? Uh, well, let's give him all the stuff that we had here without even thinking of filtering it, and then we'll see what, where we're at in a second after that. Although I know that he can't use these two. Uh, we'll give him the axe as well, actually. Even though we probably don't want him to have the axe, but that's okay. Yeah, this can be a ranged weapon for him. Sure. Uh, I am going to give him the sword. Um, which is fine. Uh, do we have another sword in here? We probably do, right? Uh, sword. Sword, sword of Balduran? It's a bastard sword. He doesn't use bastard swords. We We could use bastard swords, though. The Whistling Sword is a short sword. Okay. Um, severance. Five hit points. Chance of draining hit points from a target and transferring them to the wielder. Ooh, that's really nice, actually. Yeah. Or Hadarin's short sword, again. Another short sword. We have a lot of swords, huh? Sword of Troll Decapitation. That's a two-handed sword. Um, Pritchard's Family Stiletto. What does it do again? Oh, giant humanoids. You know what? We'll put that to backpack and then we'll equip that as our secondary. Severance. Oh, wait, no, that was the one I was going to equip. Yeah, it's fine. We'll stick this one back in there. Right. In case we need HP. So that's another backup sword for him. He's got many swords. Fire resistance. This is move quicker boots, which is fine. We can just give them to him. No issue. Helmet of... Uh, Whatever. Gives him one con. He was one con away. Yeah, fantastic. So that is actually very worthwhile for him to have. So it gives him 102 hit points. Missile Blast. Not really useful, but there we go. Uh, Thack uh, things are good. Um, what's this? Golden Girdle. Slashing attacks. We'll give him that. You know what we should also do? We should give him the bag of holding for just now. So I put a couple of these in it. Uh, but mainly, what's this one? Cold, uh, immunity to slow and cold. Yeah, do we have another, what's this? Oh, we need, we, he doesn't have any armor on? Oh, okay, well, you know. Uh, where's our full plate? Full plate plus one? Yeah, there we go. Minus three armor class. That's, that's more like it. That is more like it. Okay. Uh, do we have anything else for him right now? I'm just seeing whether we have anything else that would make sense. We can also see what he can equip, which is very nice. Uh, you can equip Biter. Probably don't need him to do that. Shield. Oh, we can have a look at the shields. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. I forgot that we could also improve the shield. Uh, none of the rest of that's needed. Okay, so this can... Oh, wait. We'll leave it here for a second. Oh, yeah. We also have 15% chance that anyone attacking the wielder takes uh, that, and we can use Sunfire once per day. This is just a medium shield, so we can get rid of that. We, we can assume it's bad. Let's put this on. That gives a minus 5 armor class. It's like it's an actual tank. Alright, so turn undead is what he's got on there. Okay. This one, plus three arm- is it plus three armor class on both? Yeah, so it's the secondary ability. Anyone takes fire damage and becomes blinded who attacks them. No protection against missile attacks though. Okay, so he'd lose the missile attack defense. Okay. Uh, this one? No protection against missile and piercing attacks. Immunity to hold person. So, does that take away his four from having a shield? No, so it doesn't take away that. So what does this give against missile attacks? Or does this just say... It just says no protection, but it also says protection against... Mi it says missile adjustment minus four. I'm going to assume it does work. Uh, I think we just leave the shields on them. I think those could potentially be useful. Yeah, we'll just leave them over here. And uh, we'll give that back. Nice. Okay, so he is now um, incredibly strong. He's actually probably our strongest party member. You know what? I'm okay with him being yes, forced into oh our party. Omnipresent authority figure. Commander's chainmail. Um, where did, where did we get this? Oh yeah, I remember getting that. Is that better? No, not in the slightest. Okay. Let's get some inventory management done as well. Omnipresent authority. I need to decide whether omnipresent authority figure. Uh, she can use the darts, but I'll just stick him in here for just now. I need to decide whether that is better or worse than uh, Khalid's. Um, he does like he does stutter quite a lot. Um, not that it's necessarily that bad a thing, but it is slightly uh, distracting. Right. Uh, oh, we'll equip that. There we go. Uh, chuck this back over here. Actually, back over here. Uh, I actually lost it in what we've got. Oh, turn up juice goes there. Um, yeah, we're just using standard bullets right now. That's fine. I actually don't have a problem with her having some of this stuff on her as well. Or those, just stand oh, those bullets plus one. Okay. Although we should probably chuck those in the ammo bag. Uh, we'll chuck that back over. Just do a little bit of cleaning of the inventory. You know what? I am going to chuck these back in here. Uh, we, we can get them out if we need them. I'll leave the spear because the spear could potentially be something we want to equip. I forget why though. It's 1d8 plus 3. Yeah, I don't know why we'd want to equip the spear. That's fine. Uh, yeah, she can have this thing that we never use as well. Wonderful. Uh, those are potions apart from the ammo. Okay. So we'll chuck that back over. Ammo bag will go on a little journey. Just to collect up all the ammo that we're uh, we currently have lying around. You know what? I'm gonna put all non-normal ammo in here, and we'll re we'll re equip it when we need to. Same on this one, just so we don't accidentally use it. Uh, we should also give out some more normal ammo if we have any. Yeah. So I know that we need is a hundred and no, it's two hundred. Wait, you have a stack of eighty. Uh, 240. That's how much we want. Just to make sure everyone has an extra stack. Uh, that was what I meant to do. I see that's fine. Chuck this over here. She has a lot of arrows right now. Safana. I somehow failed to actually pass this one along despite uh, specifically doing that. We'll chuck this along. Fill it up with all of these. You know, also with that. Anyone else got any potions that need to go in the potion bag? Uh, oh, it went back into its slot, yeah. Chuck the potions back in the potion bag. Right. You're fine to have the magic missile thing. Um, I think I am going to... Well, you know what? I am going to make sure she has at least one potion on her, just in case. And then we'll make sure that he also has... So we have 24, uh, let's do 10, uh, sorry, let's do 9. Yeah, there we go, it's a backpack. 
Gonna give four of those over here, so those should stack, which they didn't. All right, there we go, stack them. That can go there. This can go here. Wonderful, right. We now have our new party. You, task? Huh? you know what I am gonna put them up sure. here? Just, just for um, variety. There we go, right. So now we have our new party with even more health in the front line. Uh, the other option is we could potentially go for this formation. Um, and then have Jahira and probably Corwin as the secondary people in it. So it would look something like this. That's Jahira. She she would uh yeah yeah we'd have to move people around. Yeah she would uh we'd have to have um who would we have at the front here? I don't know I don't know who would have to be at the front here I'm just working it out. So front is this position. I guess we would probably want Felix to be at the front. Okay, that could work. Um, yeah, let's try that out actually. Yeah, so Felix at the front. Well, of course. I then have the obvious choice. You would swap there. There. I just realized everybody has an annoying voice. That's my problem. How may I right, let's try what that. This time? I shall attend to it in a trice. So we now have Khalid there. Corwin, Jahira, Felix, Nira, and Safana. For symmetry, it should be Nira at the front. <laughs> Put the girl. Yeah. Doing. Right there we go. Right. That looks okay. Yeah, we could work with that. And it also means that the one right at the front is uh, the front of our like little triangle, which works pretty well for us. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. We can we can Bring work with in. that. If you can't control yourself, you're a danger to us all. Who, me? What am I doing? Oh, talking to Nira. I know what I'm doing. I even mean to do it usually, most of the time. At least half of it, I'd say. I'll wait for uh, the, the voice line to end. I just don't want to interrupt it, because I know that it probably is voiced. No? It just ended? Okay, sure, whatever. Right, now we were told that we could speak to the warden again because we've spoken to enough people. So let's do that. Did you need something, young one? Um, ah, that's a problem because she's at the front. She has to walk to people. I've been talking to people as you suggested. I'm glad to hear it. Tell me what you have learned of your allies. Um. Uh. Hmm. Try to see. Yeah, everyone has their own reason to be part of this effort, and each reason is valid in its own way. I'm glad you took my request seriously. Finding out about your allies helps you understand them. It might also help you understand yourself. Here, take this old medal of mine. I had it enchanted at one point. You'll have more use for it than I, I am certain. Ooh, we gained an amulet. Okay. Whose inventory did it go into? Oh, mine. Well, that makes sense. Hmm. Uh, I actually think I prefer this one because uh, the person at the front is also the person who walks to people. Are you sure? So we're now going I mean, like are you that. Really sure? All right then. I think it was something like this. Is that what the our formation used to look like? Do it. Yeah. So Jahira. Corwin, Felix, Tefana, and Nira. Uh, we could probably swap some of these people around. I think we had Tefana at the bottom, and then yeah, I think this is what we want. What at once? There we go. That's better. It looks a little bit worse. Oh, why is she walking? Is she over encumbered? No. Why? Why is she walking everywhere? I'm very confused. Why she's moving so slowly? And look at it here. She's just moving so much slower than everyone else. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's because Safana has the extra movement speed. Yeah, so I actually want to swap those two. C can I help you? Let, let, let's try some. I'll do it. Right. Let's get ourselves information. Try some walking. Right, this way. Right. Walk. 
problem because the fan is what yes because the fan is trying to walk around Jahira that's the problem so how do we fix the fan are trying to walk around Jahira so many shadows at night mm -hmm. I see enemies behind every I'm, I'm tree not sure how we fix that okay well I mean we're Oh, you know what we do? We have Safana on the same line as Tahira. Okay, so Safana and Corwin need to swap, even though she also yes, has increased it's movement. Not it's not better. quite as increased as... Uh, there we go. Yeah, so it's not quite as increased as the left-hand side. Although, you know what we could also do? We then swap that. There we go. Right, now look at it. So now, once we're in formation, we have the slow right-hand side and the fast left-hand side. It's such a weird party formation, I gotta say. It Alright. Let's go. I have many fine wares. Identify. Amulet? What is it? It is a Thac plus two amulet. That's just yes. like solid. Um we have Archer's Eye, so we don't need it. I was thinking it could replace the missile blast amulet that I have on here. Give that to Jahira or something. Yeah, and then chuck this over to Khalid. To give him some much better thack. Cool. That seems good. Right. M me? So now, are we finished in the camp? Yes. Yes, because we want to do... Wait, no. So this this is in the Crusader camp. So we want to finish the other quest after this one. I should watch out for... Continue to watch out for Glint's relatives on her travels. Alright, sure. Whatever. Uh, that's fine. This one, Hunt a Bear. Yep, Den of Thieves. This is the one we want to wait until we've done the other one, because I suspect that it would lock it off. Uh, anniversary Gift. Yep, Giant Spider Silk. Uh, that one is require requires us to do another one first. That's fine. This one, I have no idea. I think we've glitched it, so we can't do either side of it. Um, which one do we... Oh, we have to do it for the Uncommon Cold. We need to find the Blackthorn Tree, which will then allow us to do the Wounded Zealot. Right. I've now fully checked, and we are now fully able to uh, leave and then uh, go somewhere else. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.